Okay, tickle my toes and spit in my protein shake. This mamacita is ready for some games. As discussed in yesterday's update, Bitcoin held this critical line here and absolutely had a massive bounce to the very top of this. You can see this here on the four hour chart and we can actually show it on one hour as well and get into the TA. What is going on with these charts? Where does this price wanna go? We're seeing some overhead resistance now right at the top of this channel as we talked about in yesterday's update. What does it mean? What are the next moves, guys? It has been fluctuating throughout this channel and it's very important to keep in mind what that means and to be aware of what the next moves for, for Bitcoin could bring. Altcoins across the board are popping off and going absolutely nuts. Is this a sign for things to come? Is the alt season here? Is Bitcoin here? Is this really just the beginning? And Bitcoin for the first time since October 26th of 2019 is testing this area right here and might actually be setting a higher high on this chart. And in fact, Bitcoin did break that higher high, but it has not held just yet. It is currently basically teeter-tottering right there. Is this move going to push us up and are we gonna have a nice burst of movement or are we going to be pushed back down, guys? So much to talk about in this episode. So guys, kick back, take off your shoes, order a pizza and slide that piping hot cheese down that tube. Guys, let's get into the video. Wow, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, I'm sure you know what happened. This is huge. And we wanna talk about what this means for Bitcoin price, guys. Because as you may know, this continues to get exciting. And one of the most important things that I think we have to mention here is that when we mentioned the most bullish scenario in these videos, so far, guys, this is actually unprecedented. For the past two months, Bitcoin has basically just obeyed what these scenarios are and they keep going to the most bullish scenarios. Because as you guys may know, there are many scenarios that Bitcoin can do. But in fact, so far Bitcoin, for weeks now, Bitcoin has hit the targets of the most bullish scenarios. And guys, you can see that on the chart is absolutely climbing. So we have so much to get into today. You guys, so exciting stuff. So guys, if you wanna make sure to enter these ledgers, in fact, when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're about a little less than 300 subscribers away. We'll give another one of these bad boys out. So depending on when that happens, it could be you know a few days from now. It could be, it could be uh, even longer than that. Wow, this is so exciting. Nobody really knows. Okay, very exciting stuff. You guys, I have to do to enter for, to win this ledger is leave a comment below. And if you guys are new, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a subscribe, turn on the post notification, ding that bell. And this will be the first video, in fact, for this particular ledger, actually. So we'll do that. This will be the first video for this ledger. And then whenever we hit 20K, that is the day we'll do the video to give this bad boy away. And as well, my brothers and my sisters and my cousins out there, we are going to be uploading this exciting video soon about some of our favorite altcoins on the, the join thing here to our tier two members. Very excited about that. Uh, try not to talk about alts too much in these main videos here, but that is exactly what I want to do specifically in this upcoming video. I'm very excited and putting together a lot of information and going to be sharing with you some very exciting alts that I'm extremely excited about and have been extremely passionate about. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. And if they won't let you join them and then spit in their milk, guys, let's get into this update. Guys, so this is absolutely crucial. Now, yesterday, you guys might have noticed, uh, we posted a video yesterday uh, talking about a few things, but primarily the, the main point of yesterday's video was, was picturing this, okay? This ascending channel here that Bitcoin has been blowing up into and these parallel lines that Bitcoin has clearly been abiding by. Now, as of this morning, actually, right around about 10 a.m. here on the East Coast, we got a massive bounce here. Okay, and look where it went all the way up to, the very top of this channel. Yet again, confirming the market structure here of this upwards channel right here. Okay, now as of today, because this just shifted into the next daily candle as of about 45 minutes ago. Okay, as of right now, we have a little indecision here. So there are really some scenarios as this candle has just begun. We're not even an hour into this 24 hour daily candle. We have the potential to check up here and continue and climb up to this 10.5K level or come back down to this 9.9K level. Now, Bitcoin has done this before, uh, but uh, th this so far has reminded me of something that we've seen back here when we had this first burst here and we kind of teeter-tottered around here. A few days kind of bounced around and then we found some support, blasted back here after going down for two days, consolidated for a little bit here and then pumped its way up. Okay, and we actually have to transition to a shorter time frame chart so we can illustrate that because that did happen back uh, around January 10th, 11th and 12th. Okay, so here we have burst up, uh, pull back and then a massive candle right from the bottom again straight up and now we're kind of in this indecision period of most likely two to three days at max okay this could actually be much quicker as these patterns obviously won't repeat themselves but let's go actually to january 10th 11th and 12th back here and we can showcase this pattern that that bitcoin did go into and that was this awesome pattern that we were tracking here guys this symmetric triangle okay that's exactly where it was on this chart it's this area right here and this is what it looks like on the four hour chart 
go to the one hour chart, you can actually see this a little bit better. Back on the 10th, 11th, and 12th here, some consolidation after a nice dip. But again, this dip was very short lived after a pump, just like we saw now pump, dip into this pattern, and then break out yet again. Okay, now that was the pattern we had back then. So we had a break. Okay, let's actually illustrate this. Had a long break, consolidation pattern, and then another break up here. Now, are we gonna form some consolidation pattern over the next few days here? Or in fact, are we really gonna wanna test the upper echelons of this chart here, the top or the middle here? Now that's very exciting. So I'm gonna definitely take a look into. Now, before we continue this chart, guys, I wanna actually draw your attention to this. Guys, altcoins have been absolutely dominating. Altcoins have been popping off across the board, okay? Now this one in particular, guys, I've, I mean, I've just gotten so many comments that people want me to look at this. Tezos, yes, it is true. Yes, I've been following Tezos for a very long time um, and I've been invested as well. I absolutely love this coin. I have actually absolutely loved what it's been doing over the past few months. Specifically though, what's important is this actually kicked off right around the time that the inverse head and shoulders broke out. And Tezos has been absolutely doing extremely well after this breakout. We see altcoins across the board really kind of doing their own thing, separating a little bit. Some of these pumping 10, 15, even 20% in days where Bitcoin uh, is up a few percent or even is even down sometimes, but most likely when Bitcoin's up at least a little bit. Take a look at this chart here, guys. Look at this. Bitcoin up about 5% on the day, but you see across the board, what do we have? Ethereum up 10%, awesome. Uh, EOS up like 10% as well, very cool. Uh, we see things like Tezos, like we just mentioned, up 13%. Uh, Chainlink up 16. It was actually up more than that earlier today up 16%, okay, so we just see this across the board. NEM up 21% almost, okay? We see some nice variations and we have VeChain up 15%. This is very interesting. Now, what I wanna draw your attention to here briefly, guys, is this. So this is the top 100 coins by market cap here. We see, this is the percentage I actually have it from all-time high. So Bitcoin's actually less than 50% from its all-time high. But that is clearly the exception. Most of these coins are significantly down. Okay, XRP down 91%, Ethereum down 83% from its all-time high. EOS down 76, Litecoin down 78, it looks like. Look at that. Now let's go down and look at some others. Not, Cardano down almost 95%. Okay, now Chainlink up down only 12%. Stellar still down 91. So you guys get the picture here. So many of these top coins in terms of their reputations and in terms of their market caps as well are down massively. Most of them are still down at least 70% from their all-time highs. Okay, now with this coming bull run is one of the things that I'm trying to insinuate here that these coins will, you know, at least reach their market caps, their previous all time highs. Yes, I, I do think that that's going to be the case once we actually get some momentum. I do think it will be select coins. I don't think it will literally be every coin until maybe the end of the run, because one thing you have to factor in it during bull runs and during bull cycles is the exuberance and the pure elation of the market. Uh, it does not make sense, okay? Sense gets thrown out of the window during a bull run. It's based on hype, essentially. At a certain point, it becomes just pure excitement, and things can be crazy, and they don't even have to make sense. They usually don't. So definitely keep an eye on that. I think that that's gonna continue to be a trend for these coins, especially as we get closer and closer to all-time highs, and especially as we get closer to breaking the all-time highs, and especially after breaking the all-time highs. Okay, so what I wanna take a look at here is just the Bitcoin chart now, actually breaking through this top channel here, Okay, of these three channels, this is probably um, the least important of the channels. However, you do see finding some resistance right here. Okay, we see right at the tippy top of where this wicked up to. We had such trouble breaking out of that and we didn't back in the summer of 2019. Okay, tippy top there. And as well, you notice actually getting a bounce right at this $9,900 level, which is coincidentally also the bottom of this channel. But this is on the daily time frame, zoomed out. We can just see how important that is, guys. Now, honestly, guys, the higher and higher we get above this, I think the resistance is gonna get smaller and smaller as we've traded up there uh, less and less time, okay? So I think this area is absolutely crucial, really getting above 11K, getting above 10.8K or 11K, I think that's going to be huge, this area here. Once we get above here, I think we're gonna see a lot of this, um, a lot of this resistance fall by the wayside. And again, like I said in yesterday's video, I don't think 18 and 19K, we're gonna be creeping up to those levels. I think when we're approaching 18 or 19K, it's gonna be very fast. It's gonna be explosive. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. I think that's very important to watch out for. Uh, but guys, yeah, I think today overall, this is just a very good confirmation of this pattern. And we really wanna see how this thing plays out, how it ends, and really which direction Bitcoin wants to break. Because it's been following this channel ever since the breakout on January 6th, absolutely perfectly. Uh, it's been very, very nice and very slow but also positive price action. Not as explosive and not as crazy in terms of pullbacks either. We've had consolidations along the way and I think that's really important for a healthy run. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.